let's open it up. Ooh, hardwood tree. <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm, this is a mixture of stuff. Interesting. Mmm, paper anyone? And of course, you have to have these. God damn it. I hate these things. Well, let's get these damn things out because you know, it's not much in there but these damn things. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Oh, wrong way. Hmm, this is, I think, that high quality. Uh, bubble wrap. <laughs> Free bubble wrap, anyone? Yep. Oh, God, I keep forgetting that this is the blade. This is the blade side, not that. Uh, saran wrap. Oh, this seller is very good at packing. This is the best I've seen. Hmm. Finally, a ooh, 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 ooh. I like the color. Hmm. <laughs> smell that old stamp. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Okay, those work. Mmm, a nice button to wake up to the morning. Ain't that a classic. Memory timer. What? Okay, that's interesting. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love that. Classic. So here's the dial. Wow, this thing is actually not in bad shape. No damage on the bottom, no. By the way, this radio is a model H624C. This is a Zenith from the seller said the 60s. I think the seller was the original owner of it, so yeah, he's probably right. Look at that though. Mmm, that's pretty. Okay, tuner's not moving or doing anything. Probably gonna have to do a restring. No problem. Not really. Oh, got the civil defense markers in there. I hope this thing has a dial light. It should. Filter magnet antenna. Oh, shit. Filter magnet antenna by Zenith. Let's look at the back. Oh, my. That's mint. Look at that. No... Okay, the clock. Okay, that's the alarm. That's the clock. That moves freely. Outlet. The cord's in good condition. So I'll probably be plugging in. It's a bit dry. But certainly it's usable. Well, I'd say let's uh, open the inside up and uh, see what we have. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Gotta be very delicate with this. <clears throat> For best results, use. Oh, wow. 
They did put that thing on here too. <laughs> For best results, you use Zenith quality tubes. Yes, let's uh, use the Zenith quality tubes. That'll make a difference, I'm sure. I mean, I think every tube's the same, but I could be wrong. Okay, so, got that out. Oh, okay. And this is supposed to slide like that, and we're at. Wow. That's in pretty good condition. I'll take it. <laughs> it's not really damaged at all. Put that there. Oh, we got the tubes. Woohoo! Ooh, look at the inside of that. Oh, oh, is that asbestos? Oh no, that's just a whole fucking layer of dust. Good gravy. Good gravy, that's a lot of dust. Wow. Alright, let me take you off the... Wow. Look at that. Oh my god, look at the dust. Look at the dust build up in this. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> oh, too much dust. Oh my lord. Wow, this has definitely been an attic. I would have to say that. If you look at this shit. Mmm, anyone hungry? I think this is dust. Unless it's asbestos, I doubt it. Ooh, I see. Ooh, it's there still. Wow. Ugh. God. <laughs> uh, right off the bat, I think it has all the original Zenith tubes. That's a Zenith. That's a 35W4, which I hope is still good. That's a Zenith. That might not be a Zenith. This is your uh, filter magnetic antenna. I guess that's said to be good. Well, look at that Zenith speaker. Oh, there's another two pine. It's also Zenith. Sweet. But Jesus, this thing is dirty. I don't know. No, this is actually not supposed to be in here. Because if this was originally in here, that wouldn't be, that shouldn't have been covered. So this is literally dust. Th I'm holding dust. I'm, what the fuck? I hope it's dust. I hope it doesn't hurt me. <laughs> Alright, I, I guess we could plug it in. See what it does. The seller says the clock moves. Radio doesn't do anything. So let's, uh, let's, uh, figure that out. But let's look at this some more. Okay, that still works. And here's your timer. Timer's still going. Okay. You need to hear how quality this is. Mm. Auto, alarm, holiday. What? Wait a minute. Memory timer. What? What's a memory timer for? Mm, memory timer. Huh. This is also the grill cloth, which is in good condition. Here's the knobs. They're, uh... I th this is your volume, I believe. This is your tuning. Volume's intact. Um, this might be for the radio. I don't know. But this, uh... This thing's a thing of beauty. It's not in bad condition. 
The only damage right here is this. Hell. That's fine. <laughs> I still can't believe this is dust. Literally layered of dust. Ugh. We're gonna have to clean this out. Make it brand new. Oh no. Actually, no, 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 that's fine. I know a way to save that from getting damaged. Yeah, all the tubes are in. Make sure the clock's doing something. Yeah, clock's doing stuff. That's the alarm. And over here is to set the time. Sweet. Okay. This will be replacing this radio. I'm gonna put this on display. It's actually. Let's uh let it run today while we're repairing this one. I'll run it on the news for the last time. Mm, definitely gonna need a cleaning, but damn, that's a snazzy looking one. Alright, let's uh get the dim bulb to Alright, here we go. Okay, the clock is running. Okay, good sign, good sign. So the clock is functionable. Now, let's uh, turn on the radio, I guess. Boom. Ooh. Hmm. Looks like a short. It's not supposed to glow bright. Let's look in the back. That should do it. Let's see here. What the hell? Think. We're on. Are we even glowing? Hmm. Sounds like something's crackling. What does Holiday do? Hmm. Oh, I see filaments. I'll be damned. I'll be damned, there's something playing in it. There's literally something playing. 
I'm surprised. Can't tune anything. Not a hum or anything. Huh. Very surprised. All right, let's uh, give it full voltage. This bulb is cooking. Let's see what it does with full voltage. Here we go. Okay, bulb went up, dimmed down. I'm surprised, and this is literally the original station it was left at. I guess that's 1640. Wait. 160 here. Yeah. She Wow, I wonder if this has been recapped. I wonder now, actually. Oh, that smell though. It smells like someone's house I used to go to. You know that old smell when you go in an old house? Yeah, it smells like this. Oh, look at that clock though, it's going still. I'm fucking, I'm really surprised. I would have thought the filter would have been shot. Now the alarm doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh wait, 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 hold on. Hold up. Hold the phone, give it a minute. I wonder. Oh, okay, that's the alarm. That's weird. Did you hear how fast that thing came up? I wonder if someone's been in this. That's not right. Okay, so we're in auto. Let's do auto. What does that do? Did the radio come on? No. Okay, the radio. Interesting. Let's try holiday. So I take a guess we don't got a buzzer? Bob's Garden Center is the destination for Halloween decor. You adore. Wreaths, hay bales, doormats, and more. Bob's is so much more than just a garden store. Let's see. Holiday does. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, let's get her open. Let's uh see what we got in the interior. This cord is actually pretty stiff, but I might just leave it. It don't seem it don't it's not hurting anything. Just got to be very careful with it. I can't believe this freaking radio is still running. I would have thought the filter would have been shot. It's not though. It's weird. This has got to do something. What is memory timer? <sighs> I wonder. Alright, let's uh, take off the cover. Okay, there we go. All right, the cover's off. Yikes. Wow. Oh, look at that caked on dust. Damn. But original Zenith. Would you look at that? It's not good breathing this shit in, so I need to take this thing apart and clean it up as best as I can. It's not good breathing in this. It's literally just going to make me have a headache. What the hell? That's the special feature antenna in there. Okay, let's uh... Take out the chassis. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, let's uh, let's take out the tubes. We do have our char. I guess I could just pluck them out. I mean, yeah, we don't want to damage these, so let's uh, take the tubes out. I wonder if this rectifier is going. No, it's not. The getter is right there. Oh, baby. Look at that. Wow. Okay, there's one. Look. I don't think any of these have really been... Taking it, oh wow, 12 BA6. This one's in good condition. Okay. Let's take that one out. Ooh, what's that one connected to? Okay, interesting. Well, we'll have to figure out that later. Ooh, okay. <laughs> well, that worked. Ooh, look at that. Zenith made in USA. I wonder if that's what they want you to do, is test it while it's in the thing. Hold on, give me a minute. This one's definitely never been plucked. There we go. Let's put that back 
can there. Okay. All tubes are out. Oh, except for that one. Gently rock him back and forth till he comes out. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, these tubes are just beautiful. Replace only with a genuine. Oh, these are the originals. Would you look at that? Sweet. Okay, we're gonna put these up in a safe place. Let's put the tubes in a safe place for testing later. Okay, they go in there. They go near the tester. Okay, tubes plucked. Now. Let's figure out how this comes out. Okay, so, when you are working on a radio, you need to be very careful. This shit is basically an antique now. Literally, it's an antique. It's ancient technology, but it is still good technology in my understanding. I think this comes out like this. Let's hope it comes out like this. Oh, shit. This filter, I'm taking a guess. It It's still connected, but I still don't know. Oh, they use different nuts. What a nut. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. There's only two holding it in? Okay. Okay, Zenith. I hope I have the right nut driver. Oh, thank God. Interesting. I wonder if that's still the original nut or not. I guess. Even the nuts are covered in dust. This thing is so nasty. Damn. Oh. My tweezers. Let's take out that screw. Okay, that screw, this screw, this screw goes right there. Looks like this. Let's get my, uh, not that one. One, two, okay, I think the chassis can come out now, I think we can take out the chassis, someone else is holding it, what else could be holding this, um, oh, there's another one, uh, sweet, Actually, wait a minute. I want to get a picture of the dust in this. Let me get a picture of the dust. I'm really impressed that dust has managed to literally cake in this thing. The dust is literally getting everywhere. All right, this screw, this screw, this screw goes right here. Right around. Right I think that's all the screws. Now, the chassis should come out. Let's hope. Oh, the knobs. Can't forget those. Oh, these are on here. Okay. Wow, those are. 
They're in good condition though, but they're dirty. Ooh. Okay. Well, we'll have to fix that. There's the knobs, and the chassis should come out now with its antenna. And uh, this clock rate, this uh, clock is going to be in our way, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Talk. <coughs> Dust comes out like no one's business. <laughs> We might as well unscrew the clock. I think it'd be best to actually let's unscrew it all. That would be best to uh, do that. That's some heavy duty shit right there. Let's unscrew its outlet. The appliance outlet. Okay, those are unscrewed. These four screws go for these. Let me get another. Okay. These knobs uh, need to be cleaned. It's, yeah. <laughs> They're in good condition, though. Condition is, uh, is everything, literally. Now, let's, uh, okay, that ain't gonna fit, but that will. Okay, these nuts go right there, right here, right there, and right there. Okay? Yeah. Let's uh, do that. These are for the, for the clock. Gotta be very delicate with the clock. The clock's in good condition. This thing kind of practically looks brand new. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, oh, there was that. Zenith, oh wow, you yeah, know the dial, the dial cord is fucked, of course, I always seem to find a freaking broken radio with a dial cord, yep, I always do, my life wouldn't be complete without a broken dial cord, wouldn't it, <laughs> yep, um, ugh, fuck, got a problem, my nut driver does not really want to fit in there. Yeah, look. Well, it's another option. Just when it was getting easy, so, which is funny. Okay, got that out. Uh, oh, yeah, the knobs. Of course. Okay. These will be... Ooh, wow, look at how shiny those are. Then when you get to there, oof. These knobs are going to be fun to clean. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I finally extracted this, but I, I cracked it a little bit right here, but hell, it's whatever. <laughs> uh, they literally, they wanted you to pry it off. You have to pry it off. 
Oh my god. I was scared I was gonna break this in half. Ugh, I didn't though. That's gonna need to be cleaned. Okay, now I can get into the clock. Alright, let's take off these hands. Let's take off. Nice blue second hand. Nice pretty. Let's uh, get a capsule for those. I guess I could take this. Put the hands in there. I wonder if these are radium. I wonder if that's a radium right there. I'm not going to touch it, but you go in there and then these go in there. Oh, shit. I did the common, most dumbest error you could think of. I forgot to mark where the hell the thing was. Uh, it's fine, though. Okay, there's the face plate. Save that. What the hell is this? Oh. Okay. These things you see here, they go right here so it could hold the things in place. You see these, uh... Come on. Really? You see these things? They go right here to keep the nuts in place. They look like this. I'll put that in the clock section. Motherfucker, of course, the speaker. Oh. This is not the simplest radio I have ever worked on. Nope. Not very simple. But it's not supposed to be. You see? What the fuck? Who invented this fucking thing? Take this out again. Just gets in my way. Shit, where's that go? Oh. Mm. Mm. 
the hell? This goes to speaker. I don't know what this goes to, so I'll just put it in there. Whatever. Okay, last but not least. Okay, it's out. Zenith did not make this easy. Not at all. Oh shit. I don't know what that screw goes to. String? But as you see, it's a pretty straightforward radio. Got the original capacitors. Believe it or not, this thing is still working. And I'm at the point, do I just leave it alone? Or do I replace the filter? I don't know, actually. Should I replace the filter? The filter's good. Well, it was humming a tad bit. No, actually, no, it wasn't. Hmm. Or should I replace a filter and leave these? They appear to be good. They're the originals. I mean... Turn of the century parts, basically. Meeting USA .01 400 volt. This thing's in good condition. I was, the dust has obviously kept it in pristine condition. This is the filter magnet antenna thing that it's advertising on it. Here is your um, uh, IF cans. They don't seem to have silver mica disease, but we won't know until we run it more. This is a unique filter capacitor. It has this weird thing. I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna place the capacitors under it. But yeah. It's a pretty good condition. Here's the clock. That was a bitch to take out. Okay. Let's see how good the cabinet. Look at the inside. It's all clean now. Let's see what the top can do. Oh wow. It still has a shine. Oh, there's like a little bit of stain in it. Oh wow. It still has a shine. Hold on, let me get a better. Hmm. Let's do the trim. Get the trim looking good again. Wow, this thing's gonna clean up fantastically. Wow, that's fantastic. Look at that. Wow, Zenith just lit up. For the first time. I'm gonna leave this. It's perfectly good.
You see this uh, cigarette tar? See the cigarette tar? Watch it disappear before your eyes. No more cigarette smelling radio. That's nasty. Nice, clean, shining radio. Let's uh, do the inside of where the clock was. Now we got a little bit of a crack. Not too bad. This radio is definitely in a smoker's house, no doubt about it. No doubt about it, it was in a smoker's house. I think this is painted to look like gold. I don't know if I want to... Would that damage it? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Oh well. Yeah, that's paint. We don't want to mess with that. It looks good enough as it is. Yeah, the... The Windex will do that on the numbers, but you see the civil defense markers on there. This was a pre. This was a Cold War radio at its time. Wow, I just cleaned up. Okay, we are back. Uh, I had to take a quick commercial break. Let me show you what I have done while the camera has been charging for like three hours. Notice these are nice and shiny. Look at that. Yeah, I did a little bit of damage right there, sadly. But it is what it is. At least I didn't gouge the whole damn thing with a freaking crack. But that looked brand new. Clock face. Shiny. Um, the knobs are cleaning. I did some work in the cabinet. Notice the cabinet is shiny, and I managed to keep the sticker in. Mm-hmm. Nice and shiny. Okay, so let's see how we restring the dial. I have the schematic here. Zenith. Zenith Radio Corp. H624C. That's the model number. As you see, here's the chassis. Yep. Okay. Now, dial cord restring. Let's get a little bit closer here. Let's get a nice view of the dial restring. Uh, a little bit too much. Perfect. Right there. Okay. So, dial cord restring, tuning gang close. Okay. So, you take your spring, I saw the spring, and it has these brass looking washers. I might try and salvage them, but the spring, it's still good. Unlike the silver tone, that one was fucked. Okay, so. We take one washer, we wrap it around here. We wrap it around here. We go around this pulley. Then we go around another pulley. And then we put our uh, dial pointer on. And then we go to this pulley, and then we go here, 
make three turns around uh fuck what is it called uh the tuner the tuner thing and then we wrap it to the spring now this is going to be pretty difficult because i'm not sure how well i'm going to know how to do this but we will try this is going to be fun so yeah all right let's get back to the radio Now, we are going to work on restring the dial cord, because that's what it needs. Now, um, I have string. I have a string salvaged off of a fishing pole, but it's still the same damn thing. It's just... Yeah. That'll do. Dial string. Probably gonna be doing three turns of this until I get it right, but still. Now, what we have left is the spring and the dial pointer. We don't need the dial pointer as of now. What you wanna do, you wanna make sure your dial is closed. Not open. It has to be closed fully. And this dial does not need a hint of oil. It still feels smooth. Almost like butter. Okay. If I remember correctly. I like it this way. This way is much better to me. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to restring the dial. So, let me <coughs> pull up this site on how to make a knot. So, what you do, you make A knot like that. And then I think... What you do is I'll be damned, I actually did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> okay, that was easy. Okay. Now, what you want to do, you want to put it on your strut, your the, yeah, your the. <laughs> Mm 
Maybe I have something like that. Ooh. I just noticed this part of the string is damaged. <sighs> Come on! What the fuck is the scissors? Stupid fucking house. Wow, oh, really? I can't cut it to there. I'm not sure if that's. Let's see. I still have the original string. Okay, there's that. Uh... Oh, yeah. Plenty of string. Okay. Okay, there's a new one. Let's cut it. Can't have it. No. Okay. Let's try that right there. Okay. It has to be fully closed. I think what we want to do is uh, do this. Oh, that would make my life easier. Perfect. Just what I need. Take off that bracket for now. Guess I just hold on. I think this goes right here. I'm not mistaken. One, 
two. I realized how hard Three. this was gonna be. I was in for a real treat. Think. So we're gonna fast forward till oh, when wait. I get it done because this was a pain One. in the ass. <clears throat> oh shite. Alright. It literally hurt One. my hands trying to hold the tuning condenser in place. It was freaking a nightmare. So much bitching, cursing, and you what have you. Hold on. No, it doesn't. Motherfucker. I hate this fucking dog. <sighs> Took fucking three hours. <sighs> but I finally fucking did it. <sighs> Look at that. <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> Thank God. Okay. Okay, that's done. Also, the knobs turn out perfect. Okay, the dial restring is done. Ugh. Okay. Here, hold on. Let's go to the computer. Alright. <coughs> Alright. We're on the computer now. Computer cam. Now, about the restringing of the dial. They have a lot of things wrong with this. First of all, it is freaking difficult to restring this dial. You got no damn idea how horrible it is. Now, most all tuning condensers have an area right here. Uh, hold on, I got my brush. Okay, most areas of the tuning condenser have an area right here. Like right here that holds the spring. Okay? Now, you, you leave this part here. You X this. You don't do what this does. To make it easier on yourself, move the string to there and tie it. Don't do this. This is literally going to make you go insane. Alright, that's all I need to say. Okay, dial is restrung. Now, let's uh, fix this. Also, these knobs came out in perfect condition. They're practically mint. And I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be this color. It makes sense because it's supposed to look gold because Zenith is, uh... Do they just like gold looking things? Look at that. And you just don't see shit like this anymore. It's quite sad. Okay, let's glue this so we don't lose that because last thing we need is to lose. It's, um... It's original styling. Oh yeah, my uh, super glue is still good. Okay, let's put a little dab in there. Just a little dab. Perfect in the middle too. Yeah. And uh, let's just let that sit. Let that sit in there. Now let's uh, do this knob here. Okay. Oh Lord. Okay. Uh, bad. Okay. Okay. We'll let those two dry. Now that that's done, I suppose we could put it back in the cabin and see if it picks up any stations. Uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bit before I can uh, get um the capacitors to make this fully safe and electrical and electrically restored. But 
it's fine right now. I mean, the across the line capacitor is this, and that's a uh, ceramic. Those don't really go bad, so that's safe. The filter sounds really good, actually. I don't think there's really a hum. Of course, I forgot to check, but eh, whatever. It is what it is, I suppose. Now, um, this little ass volume control. Tiny ass now, if you see, if I'd say so. Perfect. Okay. All right, so that's done. These capacitors, oh, they're they look fine actually. I don't think I'm going to bother replacing them. I mean, I see no damage with them. It really isn't going to hurt leaving them in. I mean, this is a 200 volt, this is a 400. But what, what <coughs> I just figured out, the voltage that this says actually isn't correct for some capacitors. Yes, over the line capacitor would definitely be 400 volts because that's. These capacitors, they're okay to leave. The filter, eh, I'm gonna put it to the test. But the main important capacitors are all ceramic. These, this, this, and that. Both 470 microfarad but uh yeah got the dial restrung let's put it on tune to the beam I suppose yeah. see perfect let's just take off the knob that's sixteen forty I just realized something. This is actually, uh, well. This isn't actually the right side of the dial, but, uh, whatever. I'm not doing this again. It could be wrong, I don't care. As long as it functions, I guess. So, yeah. That's the power outlet. I haven't tested the tubes yet. I don't know when I'm going to do that, but uh, yeah. I'll test the, the tubes soon, but just doing a recap. Let's uh, get this in the cab and see what it does. Alright, we're going to put back the tubes. Got them in here. Alright. <clears throat> These no doubt are the originals, literally freaking caked in dust. But I think these are the original factory tubes. 12 BA6. 12 BA6, that goes here. Yeah, the original factory tubes replace with replace only with a genuine zenith tube. Sweet. I haven't tested these out yet. So, yeah. I don't know what the condition is.
That tube's in place. <sighs> Let's see. What are you? 12B6. 12B6 that goes here. And it's not dirty at all. Take a look at that. Mm-hmm. Well, BA6, you go in here. There we go. Let's give it back its uh, shield. Oh. Okay. The shield. Oh, this one's a bit dirty. 12BA6. 12BA6, that goes here. Okay. I'm using its uh, original diagram to do this. 12. B6 and 12AB6, which is this one, which has the getter on the side. It's a weird looking tube. You can literally see inside of it. Can't you just slide in the damn thing? Come on. There. That tube's back in its rightful place. This is the 35W4. Which has the getter on the side. And last but not least, the amplifier tube. Perfect. I think that's every single tube. I haven't tested them at keep in mind. But, yeah. I haven't tested them yet, but that's fine. They don't have to test good to work. They were obviously working when I turned the thing on first. Now... Wonder what it's gonna do now that I've perfect. We are plugged in. Okay. Let's see. Okay, the clock's running. All right. 
Good sign. There it goes. September 28th and 29th is our 22nd annual Sharon Springs Garlic and Craft Festival, 9 to 5 each day. Rain or shine. Here's the one two again. And that one's wall. He lays off. And he's a guy. Your face is Zach Plesak. If you can foul off, you can spoil a couple pitches, you will get a mistake. It's not like a, well, there's a chance. No, he's going to make one or two mistakes in a bat. And if you can wait him out, if you can get to it early, if, if that mistake is first pitch, great. We can go the fourth consecutive slider. Why not? The and it's plus 40 years, which was, as she pointed out, Hum. Middle of the zone. Yeah. Well, that was certainly a treat. I mean, this thing is just gorgeous. It's it's surprising. I don't know what this memory timer is. But look at it. It's so clean. It looks it looks a lot better than when I got it. Ugh. I wonder what, um, let's see. Jumps ahead of Jay Bruce at nothing in two. Well, the radio portion of that works. Yeah, oh, this turns off it. Okay. I see you. Let's do holiday alarm. Also, this is a sleep timer. You could set it to 
zero minutes to 60 minutes, 60 seconds. Basically, watch how that works. Let's just do a little bit of a band scan. To stretch. And the one two to Bruce. Swing and a miss. He got him. Yeah, Jay Bruce goes down on strikes. In the It's amazing. This radio is just like my General Electric. Fire it up right away on first power up. <sighs> Zenith is truly a company that put the quality in before the name goes on, and that's still that's still going today. After uh, this thing could be 50 years old, 60 years old. Not sure the date yet. Yeah, literally, if you get a Zenith radio or a Zenith TV, it's just gonna come right on. Yeah, I don't. Th it won't. It won't have problems. That's literally the truth. Zenith, man, I'm so glad I got this. I just love how it looks. It sounds good. Let's try the. Well, we can't try the appliance outlet. Cause I, I could actually hook up a lamp to this and it can turn it on. And I could wake up to that too. And this thing still has a shine after all the years. It's got a decent shine. I mean, it's it's a bit scratched and what have you, but yeah. The knobs cleaned out perfect. I haven't even recapped it. Everything is still original. Original tubes, original capacitors, original filter. I tested the filter with that. The filter tests good, actually. And there's nothing leaking, so I might just leave it in this, but... Look at that shine, though. Man, this thing's snazzy. I like this. This is, like, really Art Deco and pretty. Hell. Well, looks like it's time for General Electric to, uh, have a break. I wonder if, uh... Auto, maybe? You just see something. I want to make sure this thing's safe before I... Well, that's what basically... Oh. 
something clicked. Is the radio gonna go on? Yeah. What does this do? Holiday. I don't know what that is. I think this is gonna come on, isn't it? Nope. So that must be the off feature for alarm that's probably for the appliance outlet snazzy <laughs> It's just so, it's typical. <laughs> this thing was kind of, the, the alarm portion was pretty much designed horribly. I hate to say it, but. <laughs> I guess that's how to turn off the alarm. A holiday. What does that do? I don't know actually. Wow, just a thing of beauty. This is literally... Oh. oh, this is a timer for the radio. Like, if, say you fell asleep on your desk like this, and you left the radio running, that's not very good to leave the radio running. What you want to do is set it to the timer. And then when that timer hits, turns off the radio for you. These were pretty dangerous back in their day. I'm tempted to leave this one all original. I mean, I'm really tempted. I, I think I should. I mean, this is truly Zenith's word on it. Their word still goes today with what they said. So I hope you enjoyed a restoration. Maybe someday we will recap it, but till then, I'm just going to enjoy the originalness. Oh wait, we need to test the tubes. <laughs>